Hello, how's for fans? This is Seth for the Sister Is back again with yet another Star Wars action figure review. And this time, taking a look at an older Clone Wars figure. This one is the Bounty on the Kato Pair CD from Holocron Heist. So, talk about the figure more in a moment. Um, I did get this one loose on eBay, but it came with the character card anyway for Kato Pair CD. Now, you probably know I'm not a fan of Photoshop cards, but I have to say, this is a pretty epic image of a CD photoshopped into a Coruscant background. Um, she does come with a few accessories, or one real accessory in general. The one real accessory in general is a sniper rifle, which is pretty plain, actually, to be honest. It's just got a bit of grey or darkish detailing. That's about all that you can really say about it. Um, it doesn't really fit well in the figure's hand, or at least I can't fit it well. Uh, but it's okay, it's got okay detailing, but um, I'm not really a fan of the sniper rifles as by putting in the sign, really, because they always seem to be impossible for the figures to hold, or at least from my perspective. And this one really is no different. Um. And in, weirdly enough, actually, the pouches on Kato Parasidi's belt you might see, they're actually removable, both of them. And they come off really easily. And they're so small I might not be able to show you it, but if you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's okay, I guess. Kind of weird that it's removable, though. And the helmet or mask can be taken off to reveal their head underneath, but before I show you Kato Perez CD's amazing face sculpt, here's the helmet. Pretty cool detail. And then here's the inside of the helmet. Mask. And here's what Kato Perez CD's face looks with it, the mask. It's got a lot of great detail on it. Really like the detail in Hasbro Point to this figure. At a time when they really did give us amazing figures and very unique ones as well. I mean, I believe the only other changeling we've ever seen in the Hasbro line was Sam Wessel, but in my opinion, this is a much cooler changeling than Sam Wessel. In fact, I'll just take the head off to give you a closer look. Okay, there you go. And. So, really good detailing, pretty amusing expression as well, actually. Um, so, yeah, the figure overall is loaded with some excellent detail. Nothing really stands out. It's just the fact that what's meant to be there or what's meant to have detail for Care Power CD is done very well by Hasbro, and it's pretty cool. Some good detail on the arms. You actually get a couple of logos on the, her right arm. And another on her left arm. And I believe there's one somewhere else. Oh, yeah. There's also one, I believe, on her chest. Round up area. Above where my finger is, no. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And she also has a, some Arabic writing on the figure. Around the legs there. And I believe there was some other Arabic writing. Oh, yeah. On the... Her, on the back here, uh, whatever this is called, I'm actually not really too sure about it. There's a bit shading on that too. And overall, it's just a fairly well detailed figure. And articulation called a ball jointed head. And articulation includes a ball jointed head, ball hinged shoulders and elbows, swivel wrists. Now this confuses me. It, it makes. Uh, a caught between whether this is a ball jointed waist or a swivel waist because it kind of feels like a sore waist, but looking at it, it seems like a ball jointed one, really. I'm not really too sure. There's also swivel hips, ball hinge knees, and ball jointed ankles, I think. And this figure suffers the same ankle problems as. Embo, in that the ankles just pop off so easily if you try and bend them. So now, Kato only has one foot. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it is a silly ankle floor. Um, 
that Hasford didn't really need to do, to be honest. I mean, if they could go Mancos, they could just make them the normal ankles. I don't see why they had to make some weird ones that pop off and are quite frustrating, to be honest. Overall, it's a pretty cool figure. Aside from the pop off ankles um, and the sniper rifle, I don't really have any flaws of the figure overall, and there's a pretty, really cool figure. It was part of one of the hardest waves to find in 2010, if not the hardest, with Quinlan Voss, Clone Trooper Dra, the Gene Ocean Zombie, and this figure, of course. But I did get it off eBay loose for a reasonably good price, and it's always cool to see bounty hoes in this line because they're all unique, really, in their own way. Like, you've, we've got Ambo and Cad Bane, this one, and more. I mean, Castus. Mm. The Pioneers are just really unique and cool. And overall, I'd probably rate this figure about 9 out of 10 or 9.5. Really cool figure. He's helping in with the limits on the line now that has to do release some more Pioneers because, I mean, Season 4 arguably gave us the most Pioneers out of any season. And new outfits for Pioneers as well. I mean, there's so many potential Pioneers we could get. And so hopefully, Hasbro will give us some more. So I hope you've enjoyed this review. I won't have any more until Monday at least. And then I'll actually have a new review style. Um, and you'll find out more about that coming soon on Monday. So not too soon. Six days or seven. Um, yeah, six. I think that's right. Well, I'm really counting it from Wednesday because that's when I'll be away. Um, but I'll have more 2012 stuff to review then. So may the force be with you and happy hunting.